Originally, I was going to cover this entire video, but most of it is unsubstantiated claims and very bad attempts at jokes, so I'm just going to do a one-shot on what might just be the dumbest comment I've ever heard regarding eugenics. And oh boy, is that a great introduction to this video. Basically, America treats history the way most people treat their browser history. Just delete all the embarrassing stuff and hope no one notices. Kind of like the history of the progressive movement and how it gave birth to eugenics. That's just bluntly not true. The idea of eugenics actually goes back to Plato, who believed that only members of the philosopher kings who would also rule over society should be allowed to breed. We also know that ancient Sparta would only let children live if a council decided they were fit to, and that in ancient Brazil, it was incredibly common to practice downright infanticide against babies born with physical abnormalities. Even moving this towards America in the progressive era, we still find that large contributors to pro-eugenics organizations were Andrew Carnegie and J.D. Rockefeller, also known as the robber barons and monopolists, not the progressives. Mind you, obviously some people in the progressive movement during the progressive era supported eugenics. Because the progressive era occurred in the late 19th and early 20th centuries where most people in the U.S. supported eugenics. But progressive reformers did not invent eugenics, nor were they even the main people behind eugenics in the United States during that time. So this point, to put it simply, is utterly nonsensical. 